We're here today uh, testing and certifying backflow prevention assemblies, and the fellows are here for recertification. Uh, they are certified testers, but their certification must be renewed every two years. And to receive that renewal, they have to come in and again demonstrate their ability to be able to test and certify an assembly. So that's what we're doing here today. Pearson, Superior Plumbing and Air. I'm here for the backflow certification. Hey, that's our bread and butter. It's caused us, it's getting us a lot of business, not only getting into the door with backflow certification, but also through the repair. It's helped me keep some of the guys going when service work and commercial work has gotten slow. I highly recommend this course. Not only this time, they, they actually changed the procedure on us. So it was a good thing that we did come here. And the good thing about this class is that they help streamline the procedures and they give us a lot of notes on the update, you know, the update certifications and things that have changed. Because some of us, like me, I only touch a backflow once every six months. So it's kind of helpful. Delmar Plumbing Incorporated and I just got my recertification uh, for my cross connection, my backflow preventer certification and uh, the class was great, Ray's awesome and uh, it's my, my third year certifying, my third uh, time certifying, so six years. Yeah, we, we've been getting a lot of calls and each year we get more and more calls. The backflow prevention assembly tester certification course uh, it's a 32-hour course. It requires training and um, the application of the assemblies and water hydraulics, mathematics, and uh, those related areas. And these testers must be trained in those fields in order to become a certified tester. If the backflow preventer has been tested and has failed to meet the performance as required by the manufacturer's specifications, by our state regulations and state rules, that assembly must be serviced and repaired. And to do that, it also costs, causes uh, concern in properly repairing them and servicing them. So there's an additional certification, and that's a repair and maintenance certification. These folks have to go through that training as well in order to be able to repair them should they fail their test. My name is Ray Bordner, and I'm with the ICCBackflow.com.